One of my favorite Microsoft features is Microsoft Whiteboard. There are a couple ways to get there. First of all, I have the app pinned on my desktop taskbar, or I can go over here to the Windows Ink workspace, click, and go to Whiteboard. Currently, I'm logged in with our personal Microsoft account, which is free, versus my Office 365 school account. The reason I did that is because I wanted to show you how many of those features are available. Really what I've noticed between the two, the only difference is my Office 365 school account has the ability to send to OneNote directly from Whiteboard or post to Teams. And I can also share within my organization by starting to type someone's name versus sending them a share link. On this screen, I see all the boards that I've created. I can create a new whiteboard or go to one I've worked on in the past. I'm going to click on Create New Whiteboard. If it opens for you in this area, you can simply click on the arrow in the top left corner where it says My Whiteboards to get to your list of complete whiteboards. Over here on the right, you'll see the sharing link area where you can create a sharing link for someone to access this board. That way you can collaborate on it together. You'll see your name so you know which account you're logged into. And in the settings menu, you have some options. Active pen is if you use a pen all the time. I like to keep it turned off. Ink to shape. Ink to shape is a phenomenal tool to have turned on. I am not a great artist, so if I start drawing, it will lock into the shape that I'm trying to draw. Next up, ink to table. First I'm going to click to clear the canvas. Now since I have ink to table, I'm going to start drawing a table and I want two columns and multiple rows. And you see, all I have to do is draw a line completely through the shape and it divides. If I start writing within one of the boxes, it will resize based on the information I've put in that. Let's clear the canvas. They've also added object snapping. I can export. Format background is a tool I've used a lot. I can choose a color that may be easier on the eyes. I can also have it solid, dots, square, graph, hybrid, diamond, triangle, wide rule, great for handwriting practice for elementary, and narrow rule. Stick with wide rule. I can choose where I want my toolbar, either on the left, the right, or the bottom. I like it on the bottom. I can also do an accessibility checker, which will look at my whiteboard and see if I have alternative text. I can send feedback. There's privacy and security, help, and about. Along the bottom menu, I have colored pen choices. If you press and hold on one of the colors, you can choose which colors you use most often and also the thickness. Personally, I like this one. If I exit out and come back, my pens along the bottom stay the same. There is also a highlighter tool. Right now it's set to neon yellow. If I click and hold, I can choose other colors. There's an eraser tool. Again, click on it and you can clear the whole canvas or just erase the portion that you inked. The ruler tool. This is super handy for drawing a straight line. If I choose a color and I try to draw a wiggly line and you can't see, but just trust me that I do not draw that straight. In the middle, you can adjust, you can use your fingers on it to rotate it to the angle that you want. You can also choose a lasso tool to select an object, which allows you to copy it, cut it, delete it, or add alternative text. 
I'm going to go ahead and clear my canvas. The plus sign gives you an insert menu. You can paste from your clipboard, bring in an image, text, add a sticky note, a grid of sticky notes, which could be really handy for a collaborative board, a list, templates, which were just added, an image from Bing, your camera, a PDF, and you can also bring in a Word document or a PowerPoint document. I'm going to test out Bing image and I can simply write in the field what I'm looking for and I want a Basset Hound which is where my Twitter handle came from filibuster3 and I'm just gonna grab one of those and hit the plus sign and now it's on my board When you click on that image, you're going to see more options. Again, copy, cut, delete, like, helpful for collaborative boards, lock to the background, and that way you can ink on top of it, and then add alt text. So I'm gonna go ahead and add alt text. It's put some in for me, which is great. And now I'm ready to go. The beauty of Microsoft Whiteboard is it's also cloud-based so I can access my boards on my iPad or even a website. I'm sure you'll find many uses for Microsoft Whiteboard and the collaborative features along with the cloud services.